today's video, I'm going to teach you how I make more mutt coins in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some strategies and tools that I'm going to give you to help you make more coins and mutt so that you can buy the players that you want. If it's your first time checking out the channel, I want to encourage you to watch the entire video all the way through and then at the end of the video leave a comment in the comments and let me know what you thought of the video and secondly just let me know your name so that I can meet you just want to welcome you to the team and look forward to meeting you there all right so let's talk mutt coins so when you log into mutt normally you'll get these different you know different rewards and all this stuff so what I want to do is I want to actually first I want to make one change that did not make this yet for my viewers that is, I need to fix my volume. Back this off quite a bit. For some reason, I keep forgetting this. All right. So, anyways, um, so you're gonna log into Mutt. So you you're just you're you're on your menu, log into Mutt, and then you're there. Now, what you need to do is you need to go directly to your um, the unopened packs. And normally, if you're like me, for some reason, I just get a lot. I don't know why. Um, I think it, I don't know if it has any, I don't really know why, okay? But I just know every time I log into Mutt, I get a lot of packs. So what you want to do is you just want to open everything up. So you just open everything up. Part, part of it's because I think I won some salary cap games or, you know, different things. You get packs for different reasons, honestly. There's really no you know, rhyme or reason. But you just want to open everything that you have. And then what you want to do is you just keep opening these packs up. Once you're to the end of the pack opening then you want to deal with the players and here's what I think people make the biggest mistake of in my opinion the biggest mistake people make when it comes to making more coins is they focus on the last 20% instead of the first 80% what I mean by that is there's a couple things that are really important to making more muck coins and then there's things that you can do that are really time consuming that take so much longer and they don't really help you that much and this is people who have entire channels devoted to trying to teach you how to basically glitch the game so that you can get more coins. And in my opinion, if the reason I would not recommend those channels is for two reasons. The first one is because really the only reason you want more coins is because you want to buy the players you want. That's really the only reason for me that I want coins. Okay. And then secondly, it's because those channels teach you tools that don't transfer year to year. What I try to teach on my channel is things that transfer every year. So as you can see, my item binder has gone from 43 to 83. So what I want to do before I do anything else in Mutt is I want to immediately go and figure out what am I going to do with all of these items. So I call my, I try to run with a mean, uh, lean and mean kind of thing here. So what I want to do is I'm going to check these. I, I can only quick sell and I can only quick sell. So I'm going to select them with Y and then I'm going to quick sell everything here because I couldn't do anything else with them. Um, Again, you want to just go through and you want to clean out any unnecessary players. So for me, if they are not, if I'm not going to use them, then they're gone. Like immediately they're sold. Now, some people will tell you to put them in the, in the, in the, um, dang it, what's it called? In the sets. Here's why I push back on that. And here is why, in my opinion, that's a waste of time because most people, the market value. So for example, if, if, if we were talking about real life and you wanted to buy, you wanted to buy a t-shirt from Under Armour, right? So you're going to sell the, the retail price of a t-shirt from Under Armour, maybe maybe $50, right? If you buy it in the store, it's $50. But if you sell it, like if you buy it and then you try to sell it because you've had it now for a while and you sell it, the resale value is not going to be $50. You're going to be lucky to get $25. Here's the problem that people, here's, here's the mistake people make. They buy players for the wrong reasons and then they wonder why they don't work. So what people will do is they'll go out and they'll buy people on the auction house. Like they'll buy uh, products on the auction block and they'll use them to complete the sets. But the problem is, is that doesn't really do them any good because the market value of the cards that they're going to buy are going to raise when the, when the um, sets come out. So what I would recommend you do is instead of doing that, just always go off of market value because no matter what you're going to do, if you, because another argument people will give me is, well, what if I open a pack and I get a player who is really good for a set? Well, in my opinion, his market value is going to increase. And you can see that statistically, like why would this 65 overall player be selling for 1200 coins? Well, it's probably because he's, he's needed to complete a set. 
right? So my opinion, you just always go market value. Now, if there's like this guy right here is only 400 coins, I'm going to hold off on his sell because I want, because the only other thing that you have to worry about is you can only sell up to 20 things at a time. So for example, if, if I have a player who's going to sell for 2,300 coins, I want to sell that player first. So what you always want to do is you want to try to, if it's, if it's under a thousand coins, you want to wait to sell those players until you've got everybody else on your team on the block. So again, you just want to go through and, and you want to do this over and over again. Here's the other thing that I want to leave you with before I close today's video. And that is the people, people in my opinion could have more coins, more muck coins. If they did two things, if they stopped spending it on stupid stuff and if they would just simply consistently clean out their mutt binder. There's people that I see on these channels and different players that I've played against, and I know that they are leaving money on the table because they're not, they're, they just have so many players in their mutt binder and they never use them, right? So to me, sell the player, get the coin. It, 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 and the problem is, I think people are just lazy and they just don't want to do it. Okay, and that's where I think a lot of people, the reason people search for this video, this type of video so much on YouTube is because they want a quick fix instead of doing the, the tactics, the tools, the strategies that are tried and true and will consistently get you, in my opinion, will consistently make you, if you do the tools and the tactics, you will be able to get the players you want. The problem is a lot of people just aren't willing to do the work. Okay, that that's the core of the matter. So again, this is this is what I do. This is my strategy. I do this right here. Um, if I want to get more coins, I want to, I'm going to do this. And then the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into solo challenges. And I know you guys have seen, and, and, and I've talked a lot about solo challenges and why they're important. And if you're going to, what I use them for is warm up games. So I just come in, you know, I'm say I want to play for two hours. Well, I'm going to spend the first 30 minutes playing solo challenges and running the same two, three plays over and over again to try to make sure that my reads are crisp to make sure that I'm seeing the defense the way I want to see it. It's kind of like you just, it's kind of like um, if you ever go to an NFL game, they'll run basic plays over and over again just to kind of get them in the flow of things. Again, this is little things that you can do that are going to make you 10 times better on the back end. So again, just do a little bit of prep work on the front end and you will be 10 times better on the back end. But this is my strategy for getting more muck coins in Madden 18. So what's your strategy? If you have anything that I missed, um, again, in the comments, I will just want to ask you to do me one favor. Don't give me the argument about the sets. I, I've, I've heard it a billion times and I really don't feel like hearing it again. So if you leave a comment and you talk about sets, I'm probably going to delete it or I'm not going to respond. But any other strategies, any other tools that you guys have seen that could help myself or could help different players on the channel, I really, really, really would appreciate it if you shared it with the team. Because again, everybody's on one mission. We're trying to be the best players we can be in this game. So if we all do it together as a community, it makes it so much easier and so much more enjoyable. The Again, so that's just kind of my advice for making more muck coins in Madden 18 is, is twofold. Number one is to be cautious in who you buy because as soon as you buy them on the auction block, their, pri their, their resale value is going to go down. You're never going to buy somebody at the cheapest price. It just doesn't happen. At least I haven't seen it. So what I recommend doing is you need to do really diligent research, watch my channel, watch, um, there's several channels that will give you budget players, people that you can use that are good for low coin, watch those guys, they're going to be able to give you players that you're going to be able to use. I'm going to have um, some budget series kind of starting that back up too on my channel, so you can be staying tuned to watch it. Uh, I'm going to try to put some videos out about salary caps, so again, you, you need to just stay diligent in your research. If you do the research in the front end, it saves you a lot of headache in the back end. So just do your research on the players that you're going to buy. And then, and then the most important thing I could tell you is do not get la do not get lazy and not clean your binder. Your binder should be no more than 45 players in your mutt binder, my opinion. But that's what, that's the, that's the steps, the tools. That is what I do to ensure that uh, I'm getting the best value. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for watching the entire video. And I want to just invite you to watch uh, 